नमस्ते एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक ऑफ अ वेरी ग्रेट परंपरा सीक्रेट विद दिस एडवेंट ऑफ इंटरनेट एंड मेनी यू नो अदर थिंग्स देयर कम यू नो अ ग्रेट चेंज एंड यू नो पीपल पीपल हैव स्टार्टेड नोइंग अबाउट मेनी अदर थिंग्स and it's fine i see that nowadays people are interested in making horoscopes rather say calculating horoscopes by hand and i have found a very funny thing what i found is some people refer drawing horoscope or making horoscope as take a software enter birth details horoscope will come out in front of you and copy that in a notebook that is drawing a horoscope what is your opinion in this is it making a horoscope that you copied from the software to the uh, copy or is it calculating every bit of it right so in the tradition when i was learning astrology we were taught how to calculate the horoscope by hand this is a very tedious process however like everything the tradition have secrets for calculation also which makes it very very easy today i will not go into it but rather i will go into something which is more important more basic and even more fundamental that is how you draw a horoscope dekho parampara believes that there is a planetary position for the native there is a fortune for the native etc and it is there right it is there with the person in the cosmos there is the horoscope of the native planets are there in the horoscope the shas are running transits are happening and they are unknowingly subconsciously impacting the person then the person visits an astrologer he makes his horoscope takes a peep into his future looks at what is going on and predict things right this is what happens now the astrologer and you know what not every astrologer can do this once someone asked me that sir can i show my horoscope to any astrologer i am like yes you can show it to any astrologer but make sure they are real astrologers now you know nowadays to astrology field is like munna bhai mbbs however <laughs> so as an astrologer we are made up of our knowledge because we deal with knowledge and things related to knowledge and you know this working with this cosmic energy doing the spiritual sadhana that is needed for astrology and you even practicing astrology in itself is a spiritual sadhana you look at the horoscope you see how the maya unfolds how the person gets rewarded and punished and you witness the maya of mahavishnu this itself looking at this looking at a horoscope reading a horoscope with complete devotion and utmost dedication thinking of the astrological principles is itself a sadhana as it is a sadhana to think on the nature of god the qualities of god the character of the god in the same way thinking about the planet nature behavior of planet doing research in astrology is itself a sadhana and the astrologer being someone who is constantly engaged in sadhana gets energy i always remember you know what these astrologers should have much control over their tongue as an astrologer who play with this cosmic energy gets influenced by this cosmic energies understand about this cosmic energies you make sure that you don't utter negative words about people because your tongue have some power to manifest things which is known as vak siddhi in earlier times sages who were highly devoted and dedicated to their stream of knowledge 
had the power to curse people or bless people it have nothing to do with the person believes in god or does not believe in god the person is calm or happy use the examples of sages like durvasa to atri to assist every one of them right so the basic point is anyone who is into a scientific pursuit and is completely devoted to a branch of knowledge thinks about it gets a level of power using which he can bless or curse anyone so as an astrologer you have to be very be very careful that you don't utter negative words about client because your words have a particular level of force and so is with everything the horoscope is like a yantra you know so in, in sadhana there is mantra which is the soul of the ditti there is yantra which is the body of the ditti and these two things make the ditti which the person wants to have a relationship with be in synchronization with so the horoscope is also a yantra and it is very important how do you draw this yantra see yantra is a figure that you can draw but you cannot draw it any way that you want it have to be drawn into a particular way in parampara in tradition we are taught in depth about how to how to actually write a horoscope and you being the astrologer who have a lot of power plays with the cosmic energy the way you draw the horoscope impacts the nature impacts what is going to happen with the client up to a great extent it is more like a trainee a doctor a trainee nurse who does not know how to do the uh, how, how to do do her work and because of her ignorance injects the person with a wrong medication before the real operation and you know the consequences then what will happen right so there is a particular method to draw a horoscope that is taught in the parampara this is what i am going to deal with in this particular video we will do it step by step explaining every point and because i myself am a north indian person north indian astrologer i primarily use the north indian horoscope so i will talk about the north indian horoscope first point first there are four directions you must know it east west north south and you know about it there are these four directions and you have to keep in mind these four directions if astrologer and first of all you have to make the outer box first while making the outer box if you draw the east line first person will be blessed by the luck if you draw the north line first the person gets prosperity and wealth if you draw the south line first person meets with accidents bad fortune etc and if you draw the west line first then there are unnecessary obstacles and hurdles in the horoscope remember where is the first house of the north indian horoscope that is the east direction fourth house is the north direction seventh house is the west direction and tenth house is the south direction so suppose the astrologer is sitting right here and he is going to draw a horoscope first you have to draw the east line then you draw the north line then you draw the west line and then you draw the south line and this complete drawing have to be done without lifting up your pen if you lift up your pen while drawing the lines it is like four walls which are not joined to each other you know so thing will come out it cannot protect the person so basically it have to be east north west south without picking up your pen the basic one after you have drawn this 
the next thing that you have to draw now what people do draw the cross first never do this if you do this cross the horoscope will become blocked this will not only be blocked for you to read it this will not only be blocked that you cannot look at the real implications of planets in the horoscope and in turn will create an error while reading the horoscope but this block also snatches away new opportunities from the native as well so you got to make sure that you make these uh, that you make the diamond image first now this for this diamond image you have to understand that ascendant is dharma Tenth house is Artha, seventh house is Kama, and fourth house is Moksha. What is the order? Order is Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. Keeping in mind the duty of the person, his responsibility towards the society and his family, he should earn money. After getting enough resources, he should get married. and you know the example of those people who get married before getting before settling their artha before settling their finances what happen with them right so after artha you get married and after getting marriage you think of moksha you think of salvation this is the process in which one have to go brahmacharya brahmacharya vivaha vanaprastha sanyas is the order celibacy marriage living with a spouse but not having sexual relations and going to the jungle for a spiritual pursuit is the order that the classics recommend and you know what i have found that people they are so fascinated with spirituality so fascinated with moksha and salvation that they forget that the way of how one should live life consists of all these four parameters and does not only consist of moksha classics are very clear that this step these four processes are very essential to go through right so about it some other day but you understand this particular point that everyone becoming an ascetic everyone going to the pursuit of salvation is not the way if everyone becomes a sanyasi today if everyone hangs for salvation today if everyone becomes an ascetic today what will happen to the world you think over it right the shastra as the sages recommend us to go through a four step process for this particular reason first you draw the line from the ascendant to the 10th house then the 10th house to the 7th house then seventh house to the fourth house and fourth house to the ascendant this is the process east line first north line second west line third south line fourth then east to south five south to west six west to north seven and north to east the eighth line after that you have to put the cross now remember this is the left side of the horoscope that falls between east and the south this south east area is the left side of the horoscope whereas right side of the horoscope is north east area if the horoscope belongs to a lady you first have this line from the north south east area to north west area followed by the line of north east area to south west area for the case of a female horse because woman is vamangi left part if it is a male horoscope first you draw the line from north east to south west then you draw the line from south east to north west this is for the male horoscope right once you have made this basic figure then you are supposed to calculate the planetary positions put the planets into place calculate the dasha and tridasha calculate the divisional charts and do the further process right this is for the north indian chart this is how you should deal with north indian chart okay now coming to the south indian chart 
it is a little bit different the astrologer sits here this triangle you say is astrologer in the south indian chart it is the east direction it is the west direction it is the south direction and it is the north direction this is different for south indian chart so first line from east to north then north to west then west to south and then south to east these four lines should be first made then you again make line from east to north then again north to west then again west to south then again south to east then you bifurcate the two houses in the east direction two houses in the north direction two houses in the west direction two houses in the south direction this will make first sign aries second sign taurus third sign gemini fourth sign cancer fifth sign leo sixth sign virgo seventh sign libra eighth sign aquarius ninth sign sagittarius tenth sign capricorn eleventh sign aquarius and twelfth sign pisces remember in the south indian horoscope rashis are fixed ascendant is marked for an example if the person is virgo ascendant either two lines like this will be made here or it is ascendant as will be written here or some star mark etc will be made here because this is the ascendant remaining figure remains the same whereas for the north indian chart in the first block yeah for the north indian chart whatever is the ascendant rashi that particular c ascendant is virgo whatever is the ascendant rashi that will be written here six and the other houses will follow right this is the basic difference between the south indian and north indian chart and i have told you how to make this particular figure once again this line first this line second this is the third line this is the fourth line this is the fifth line sixth line seventh line eighth line ninth line tenth line eleventh line and twelfth line this is how the lines are to be drawn for making the north indian or south indian horoscope and you remember a point you are an astrologer the way you draw the horoscope the way you write the horoscope have high bearing on the fortune of the native you are like the father or the guardian who will guide the native to fortune and you yourself can imagine that if the guardian is not paying proper respect to the growth of the child then what will happen the same thing will happen right this is the particular reason in many astrological traditions throughout india it is very essential that the astrologer first draws the horoscope in front of the client worships it before giving the prediction and this drawing of the horoscope and the worshiping of the horoscope along with the client done by the astrologer saves the client from many general issues many general mishaps and presents him with many new opportunities in life this in itself is a great remedy right so i hope this was a little bit off topic video but somehow i thought that it is very important to teach this to my viewers as i am imparting them the knowledge of the parampara which i have been blessed enough to be born in and i have also done much hard work to get this particular parampara knowledge i thought that it will be good to share it with my viewers and you people will like it drop me your comments about your views regarding this particular video to become an astrologer it is very important that you know how a horoscope is calculated you know what the astrologer who can only look at the position of planets and predict it is known as nakshatra suchi and it is literally abused by sages told that such people should be punished such people are a 
black mark to the society etc etc many of the things are told though it is not essential for an astrologer to be an astronomer also but at least they should know how to make a horoscope so that there is even if the software does the calculation wrongly etc they are able to find out what is the truth and what is not the basics of astronomy should be known by the astrologer at least the minimum criteria is the astrologer should know how to make a horoscope by hand and i am not talking of making the horoscope using a software and then copying it in the notebook i am talking of complete calculation of horoscope all by yourself and as i have told you in the video it is a very tedious task but parampara have many secrets of it for the betterment of the world for those who are interested i have decided to teach a two day webinar on how to calculate a horoscope manually all by your hand how to calculate the horoscope how to calculate the ascendant the planets and all the essentials of whatever is horoscope making i am going to teach in this two day webinar you can join this particular webinar uh, the record you can join the classes classes live with me where i will teach you the formulas calculate a horoscope and you will also get a chance to calculate a horoscope with me the recording of the class will be accessible for a lifetime uh, notes related to how the calculations are done the basic pdf related to it will also be provided and as a standard with all and every of my courses lifetime support of shubham alok one on one interaction with your teacher will also be there so those who are interested should not miss this particular webinar join it and learn how to calculate a horoscope by hand manually all by yourself and get into the criteria get into the sages criteria of becoming an astrologer and get the sages hallmark for practicing astrology